In order to experience the spiritual transformation that God wants to accomplish in our lives, we must completely yield ourselves to him. If you want to experience spiritual change, if you want to see God do a transformation in your heart and in your life, then you have to come to the place where you fully and completely yield yourself to him. Notice the word yield. The word yield appears in verses 13, uh, 16, and 19. And so remember what we have talked about up to this point. Number one, in order to experience spiritual change, we have to repent of our sin, right? We have to repent of our sin. And then we have to believe by faith. We choose by faith to believe what God's Word says, that we are dead to the power of sin. But then here in these verses, we discover that we also have to present ourselves as an offering to God. You cannot read Romans chapter 6 and not see that we are being called to make a choice. You have to make a choice. Notice these verses. Look at them again. Verse 12 says, let not sin therefore reign. Now that's a choice. He's saying make a choice. Verse 13, neither yield ye your members. Again, that is a decision, a choice that you are making. Verse 15, shall we sin? In other words, he's saying it's a choice. You either choose to sin or you choose not to sin. Verse 16, yield yourselves. Verse 17, ye have obeyed from the heart. Verse 19, for as ye have yielded, then notice, even so now yield your members. Do you see it? Paul is telling us that in order for us to experience victory over sin in our lives, we have to make a conscious decision to fully and completely surrender ourselves to God. It's choosing absolute obedience to whatever our Lord and Master Jesus Christ tells us to do. Go over, if you will, to chapter 12. You're in chapter 6. Go to chapter 12, and I want to read a couple of very familiar verses. Romans 12, verse 1 and 2. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye Transform. That's what we're talking about. Spiritual transformation. The need for spiritual change in our hearts and in our lives. And he says, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Now often we make the mistake of thinking that this matter of yielding ourselves or surrendering ourselves is an event. Now, let me explain what I mean by that. Uh, Many times, a life of surrender does begin with a point in time, with an event, where we yield ourselves to God. Um, Maybe that would take place in a service just like this, uh, where you walk the aisle and here at this altar, you yield yourself to the Lord. And you say, I want to surrender, God, everything that I have, all that I am, I want to give to you. I want to lay it all on the altar. Uh, Maybe it takes place out at Camp Choff. Maybe there's a young person here that that surrendered themselves, rededicated their life, gave themselves to God at an invitation and walked that aisle there at the tabernacle out there at the camp. And, And it was an event. It was an event where you yielded yourself to God. That's what we call an event-driven or a crisis-driven spiritual decision. Now, please understand what I'm about to say because I'm not against those kinds of decisions. I think they're very important. Life-changing decisions at the altar. I wish we had more of them here in our services week in and week out. But remember that spiritual change is not an event, but it's a process. It's a process. It begins with the decision. 
Many times a decision just like this during an invitation uh, at the end of a service like this or like I said out at camp or maybe at a conference or somewhere where you respond and you dedicate your life and you surrender yourself to God. It begins with a decision but then it continues to become a reality in our life as we make decision after decision after decision on a daily basis. Spiritual change takes place as we make thousands of right decisions day after day after day.